Welcome back to the Todd Graham Show. So the hurricane up on Houston at halftime, but as always, it's a complete 60-minute game. So let's go back now to head coach Todd Graham and Rick Corey with a look at halftime adjustments and second half highlights. Guys? All right, thanks, Bruce. Well, coach, at the half, I mean, they always talk adjustments and stuff, but gosh, things are going so well. But I know what you're telling them is just let's just keep going. Well, I think the job that, uh, that Coach Patterson's done and Coach Randolph, our defensive staff, has been phenomenal. Uh, they had, we had a tremendous plan. We came in at halftime. The word was, hey, it's 21-7. to 7. You know, we got 30 minutes left to play. They're going to make some adjustments. But, hey, let's stick to what we were doing and let's make the adjustments as needed. And, um, you know, that was the kind of the deal at halftime was, hey, we felt like we could have been a lot more ahead than what yeah. we were. And uh, we had some opportunities. And I said, hey, just keep your head down. Keep plugging. There is no way. You know, just, just stay true to who we are. That's character and integrity, doing what your coach do and do it with an unbelievable passion. So I, I like how the guys were at halftime. Our team's mature. All right, let's see the second half highlights. Watch Tulsa, especially at the end of this game. I'm going to watch it with you. Tulsa and Houston here in Houston. To the left is Charles Clay and Damaris Johnson. Out of the shotgun, Kinney has the snap. Blitz coming. He throws near side, caught by Charles Clay, trying to break a tackle. He stumbles forward across the 40 to the 41-yard line. And the out of the shotgun, Kinney. Motion now from left to right, and now Kinney will take it himself on the option. Right side has open spaces, 45, 50, 45, down to the 41-yard line. And to the left is Clay, Owens, and Roberson. Out of the shotgun, Kinney has the snap, drops back to pass, now throws over the middle, caught at the 11, at the 13-yard line by Damaris Johnson and driven back. Wide side of the field is the left, and that's where you find Roberson, Ricky Johnson, and Charles Clay. Clay in motion now from left to right. Kinney out of the shotgun, fake handoff. He will look to the right. He'll roll to the right. He will throw it downfield, and it is incomplete. Or did he no, they catch it? it no, caught. he did catch it. Somehow Clay caught the ball on the right sideline and took it down to the one-yard line. How on earth did he hold on to that ball? First and goal at the one-yard line. Kinney out of the shotgun. Motion from left to right by Damaris Johnson, and Kinney will take it himself, and he charges into the end zone. Touchdown to you. G.J. Kinney with a one-yard touchdown burst, and Tulsa leads 27-10. to 10. At the 48 of Houston, Kinney out of the shotgun. From left to right in motion is Clay. Kinney has the snap. He'll drop back to pass. He'll step up and run to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. Slides down at the 36-yard line. 7.55 to go in the contest. Tulsa leading 28-25. Kinney out of the shotgun. Two receivers right and left. Kinney has the snap. He drops back to pass. He throws over the middle, and it is incomplete intended for Clay at the 10-yard line. They're looking for something on this play, and if they get it, maybe they'll run the play, but most likely he'll pooch kick it. Here's the snap, and here's the kick. High kick to the center of the field. Lands at the 20 and it will take a small roll in Tulsa's favor down to the 15. One receiver, Edwards to the left. Now there's motion from right to left by Carrier. Back to pass, Pylon. He'll dump it off to Carrier. Complete 25 to the 30, 35, and nudged out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Pylon has the snap and drops back to pass. He looks over the middle and throws over the middle. Caught by Edwards, and he got nailed for no gain on a great play by Tanner Annell. And that's Annell staying with the very speedy Patrick Edwards. Three receivers to the left, one receiver Cleveland to the right. Here's the snap. Pylon back to pass. Tulsa brings some pressure, and Pylon floats it down the field, and it is intercepted by Marco Nelson. Nelson with the interception. He's dragged down at the 28-yard line. That's the third interception of the game for Marco Nelson. My goodness, he has six on the year. Can you believe it? Play second and nine. Kinney has the snap, and he'll roll out to the left. He releases a pass caught by Sears. Sears at the 45, and he rolls forward near a first down. It looks like he has the first down. Two slots on the right side. Kinney is virtually alone in the shotgun. And now Kinney will take it himself up the middle. He barges to the 40 and spins forward to the 36-yard line. First down, Tulsa. Kinney on a draw play, and Tulsa has a first down with 2.09 to go. You could almost sneak it a couple of times and see if you could get the first down. Here's the snap, and Kinney will take it off the left side. He cuts back, has the first down, and he fumbled the football. It's loose on the turf, and Houston says they have it, but TU said he was down. After review, the runner's knee was down at the 23-yard line with possession of the football. Five on the play clock, and Kinney will take one more knee. 
He takes the knee, and this one will be in the books in 15 more seconds. So the final score, Tulsa 28, Houston 25. Chris Kaiser had told us on the headset, Coach, right before your offense went out, that Coach Morris got his guys around and said, we have to go win this football game. That was a character five and a half minutes. Yeah, it really was. I, you know, I told him, uh, you know, when we went back out on our last series defensively, I said, Coach, no matter what happens on this defensive series, it's going to boil down to the offense taking the ball and going down and scoring. And I, I told him the next series is going to determine the game. And uh, he's just done a phenomenal job. And, you know, just a team effort. There's not uh, phenomenal effort being given, the discipline, uh, the, the coaching. I mean, our, my, my, our assistant staff is doing a tremendous job preparing our guys. And, uh, man, it's just an awesome thing to watch to see these guys uh, continue to get better every single week. Yeah, and you're watching maturing right in front of your eyes, watching G.J. Kenny become the leader that you expected he could, watching guys grow up in that defensive secondary. Yeah, it just I think G.J.'s leadership and how he's playing is phenomenal. I mean, he took some shots tonight, uh, ran the ball unbelievably. You know, we just take, we take what they give us each week. Uh, last week we threw it all over them. This week we were, we were running all over them. And that's, uh, you know, that's a great testament to, to our offensive guys and, the, the, and, and to, to be in a team that's going to be disciplined to do whatever it takes to win. It's not about offensive stats. It's not about defensive stats. It's just about winning. And uh, that's what I love about the staff and this team. Yeah, the stats right now are Tulsa. Seven wins, three losses with two games to go. We'll talk about one of those next here on the Todd Graham Show. Dreams are forged. Character is tested. Teams are united. Champions win here. The road to the championship continues. Don't miss the 2011 NCAA Division I men's basketball second and third rounds, March 18th and 20th. For more information, visit NCAA.com slash tickets. As we welcome you back to the Todd Graham Show, of course, this past week was the passing of Veterans Day, and it's always interesting to note TU football players' contributions to war efforts in the U.S. The 1916 and 1941 teams enlisted en masse, and they were always well represented in times of war. This feature coming up, though, is about TU football players who lost their lives on the field of battle. Let's take a look. Today we recognize three TU football players who lost their lives in battle. A member of the first Henry Kendall team in 1895 was Milo Hendricks. He was part of the famous Rough Riders of Teddy Roosevelt and died in the famous Battle of San Juan Hill in the Spanish-American War of 1898. A 1940 graduate of TU, Nolan Cargyle was a B-17 pilot in the European theater. Nolan was a true gentleman. I mean. He was behind me a year or two. Uh, he came down from Oklahoma Military Academy with three other fellows and uh, was really a top individual. In January of 1943 on a bombing mission over Holland, Cargyle's B-17 was clipped by an out of control German fighter plane. It crashed and all were lost. Dewey Erickson, part of this famous TU backfield that played in the 1943 Sugar Bowl, was a Marine Lieutenant in the Pacific War. He was a big, good-looking guy, big old blonde-headed guy from Ramona, Oklahoma, and uh, he loved to play football, and uh, at 210 to 220, he could block anybody that came through to try to get to me. He lost his life in the Battle of Iwo Jima. Dewey Erickson was posthumously awarded the Silver Star for his gallantry in battle. As we're prone to say sometimes, the, the war was an accident of orders and uh, we were lucky, those of us who got back and got through, uh, we were very lucky. Uh, some of them were not so lucky and TU was well represented in the service. Today we salute the military and as we approach Veterans Day, a special tribute to Milo Hendricks, Nolan Cargyle and Dewey Erickson.
Welcome back to the Todd Graham Show. Rick Corey along with Todd Graham smiling here in Houston after a 28-25 win over the Cougars. All right, now you got UTEP coming in, and we, we talk about this one being for the West, but the UTEP and Tulsa has always been a well, dogfight. Well, it's going to be the biggest game of the year. Yep. That's what we say every week. But, uh, uh, you know, coming back to Chapman Stadium, we need our fans out there. You know, UTEP, very explosive offense. Uh, Vito Toe uh, and company are, are always uh, one of the best offenses we face. So you're always very, very explosive. And uh, we've got them at our place, which is good. And uh, we've got to figure out some way to go win and uh, you know I like our, our team how we're playing right now but we can't let up there's no we've not accomplished anything yet we have to go and we have to beat UTEP and then the next week it'll be the biggest game again against Southern Miss and I think if we can do that uh, then I think things will take care of themselves but I know we're focused on being conference champions and to do that we got to go beat UTEP and you always say left lane and hammer down and now it's time for the fans to do that very same thing left lane hammer down let's fill it up well you know and I, and I tell you these kids uh, they really deserve that kind of support I love our fans our fans have been great all year long not just coming and showing up, but coming and showing up and participating and, uh, you know, getting the chance going, being loud as heck when the other team's on offense. It's just been a great and a, and a, a special home field advantage we've had, and we play very well at Chapman Stadium. So we need them to come out, and uh, we'll put on a show for them. All right, let's do that. So we'll see you there 1 o'clock next Saturday. It's going to be Tulsa and UTEP at Chapman Stadium. Tulsa wins tonight, 28-25. We'll see you next week. Hey, thanks guys. Well, there's no question about it. After the win over Houston, it still is a one game season. Each and every game Tulsa has to win, really, to win the Western Division Championship of Conference USA. And so the next one is UTEP, of course, on Saturday. That is a one o'clock kickoff at H.A. Chapman Stadium. And of course, tickets are available at 631-GO-TU. That's 918-631-GO-TU or online at TulsaHurricane.com. For head coach Todd Graham and my broadcast partner Rick Corey, I'm Bruce Howard. So long and until next week. The Todd Graham Show is brought to you by River Spirit Casino. Play your way. Bill Knight Ford, home of the Bill Knight Advantage. Mazio's Pizza, proud sponsor of the Mazio's Family Fun Zone. And by the TU Home Team, A&H Security, Mullen Plumbing and Air Assurance, helping you maintain your home field advantage. The Todd Graham Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and Kane Vision Productions.